Hi guys, my name is Joan. Welcome to Freaky Table. I'm here with Kuo and Yana. We've got lots of things to talk about, guys. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Freaky Table is brought to you by Nikki Hit Beauty Studio, Mountain Anton Koto, Buna Musa di Duala, and Prime 22 Bar and Restaurant, Bukwango Buya. Welcome back, guys. This is Freaky Table. My guys here, Kuo and Yana, are in the house. And we have to begin with a very sad story from Cameroon music industry, Mamangia. Giala Roots, the Makosa icon, is no more. She passed away June 14 in Douala uh, after battling with diabetes for 10 years. Among the years, both legs were amputated and she died at the age of 60. So we're going to be talking about her life, her legacy, and what lessons are we to learn from that life and career of hers. Welcome, guys. You guys look amazing. Always. Oh, why? Always. What do you mean? I, like, mean, I mean, it's us. Welcome. Come on. Come right. on. Welcome, Yana. Welcome, Kuo. Yana, unfortunately, this is the news we have to begin the show with. Um, where were you when you got the news that Mamangi has had finally just gone to the Lord? <laughs> I was home, actually, and when he... <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with this guy? Don't start today. Yeah, I was home, and when I got the news, I... I mean, it's, it's, it's sort of... Not that, you're, not that you're really expecting it, but then she was, she was, she was slowly going away mm -hmm. and then when, when he hit me that it's it's that, that kind of news where you're like okay let's start reflecting on her music on her career yeah. and how she passed away and it it, it it it's really sad because it it, it reflects itself on how the we treat our artists in Cameroon yeah. and also how they themselves um treat their treat themselves um towards their music I mean a musician never really dies like that mm -hmm. in the days of your career the but music, then the music it lives it lives on but then yeah. what happens after music you know yeah that's a, that's a whole in fact, we have to deal with that with yeah. that aspect. But, but Paul, when you heard that she, she passed away, what was your reaction? Um, for me, I'm a fan Aww. of Mamangia, first of all. So it was... It shall be uh, well. <laughs> you come through it. You, you, you come, you come up. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm a fan of Mamangia. And really, um, what Yana said was the same type of reaction I had. I, I had to go back to her music yeah. to try to relieve those moments. Yeah. You see, try to... We capture the magic that she had when, when she sang. I, I, she, you know, she existed at a time when Makosa was, was a big deal, but she was still this very powerful voice yes. amongst all the other Makosa uh, artists. She was so fearless. Mm -hmm. Her lyrics were they were to die for. I mean, she's the only one who could pull off five days to for one dollar. <laughs> 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 she got so, so, so really, uh, she, was, she was a fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the fact that we're even talking about what she did and laughing yeah, about yeah. it. Um, I remember her for her music, for. her makeup. Oh, oh she was like, edgy. She was quite she, edgy. Risky she, too. You know, that, that she had this courage. She smirked. <laughs> Uh, make no, it takes a lot. Like that you <laughs> yeah, it takes a lot of courage. Of yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, Mama Gia, there's fashion. nobody, there's no way yeah. we're going to talk about Makosa music. In fact, African music yes. without mentioning her name. Yeah. She yep. did a whole lot. Yep. I mean, she did music for decades. Yeah. She took Cameroon music far and wide, traveled, you know, out of Cameroon, performed those songs, yep. made people happy, made their mm -hmm. lives change. Yes. But Towards the end of her life, yeah. there is a different story. Yeah, it totally. It's not so much enthusiasm. It's not, we, we it's practically sad. watch her go away. Yes. Yeah. Right? Just watch her fade away. Yeah. You understand? So many controversies over what killed, what may have caused uh, disease or whatsoever. And the comments that were thrown at her on, on social media towards the last, mm. the last part of her years, mm. how, how did you see, how would you assess that? You know, social media is a street. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, yeah, so um, there, is, there, is, there is a likelihood, very high probability that you'll see garbage, of course. Um, to me, uh, when, when I think of Mama Ngea, I the, the sad part of it yeah. is, is the end and the fact that she was virtually reduced like many other artists, yeah. other legends, whether you want to talk about Klundam, mm -hmm. whether you want to talk about Jemen, mm -hmm. um, Jemen Ebuele, Whoever you want to talk about, we've seen artists, Cameroonian artists, who are legends, who have made an impact in our in our uh, musical um, 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 landscape, mm -hmm. um, Cuban big time, all of that. Just fade away like that, you know. Just lose everything. Do not have anything, yeah. and they, they virtually are reduced to beggars. Wow. So I read in in a, in a French blog, I, I think, um, and people the comments that were beneath. The yes. post about mm -hmm. her death, where like you had quote or quotes, right? You said she bowed out in shame. That's what somebody mm -hmm. said. Others went like went like a beggar, and mm -hmm. another said died wretched. 
when you hear all these kind of things or read these comments, like what kind of lesson do you think that Cameroonian artists are supposed to learn from the death of Mamangia? Um, I think firstly, artists need to understand that uh, music is, an, is a means to an end, not the end itself. Mm -hmm. Because um, there's this tendency to treat music like um, the end, to everything like okay, you know what I'm doing this because I have to just mute music and there's there's no there's no there's, there's no alternative um road to, to to diversifying the income and diversifying also how you can can sustain your sustain the lifestyle because I, right now music is not that sustainable in Cameroon, so you have to look at other means to which you can attract income. Like for example, in those when Maman Gia's time, the whole that era, nineties music up to the two thousands, there were there were a lot of ways you could get money through concerts. That was a, that was a huge way of getting money to royalties, um, through also um, merchandising, right? Mm -hmm. But then now we've moved to a, a new era where you can easily pirate somebody's music because yeah. CDs, CDs, you could easily pirate somebody's CD. You could easily now we have peer to peer sharing. You could get the music and share. But so how do you beat all of that? It's by you now creating a very strong. Um, um, audience by the kind of music you play. So it's, it's about identifying the kind of music you want to do, the kind of audience you want to sell it to, and also knowing that, okay, you're not just in music business. No, we've gone past that when content business, because yes. how does your music contribute to, to, to culture? Is your music going to be, is, is, is your music going to feature in a movie as a soundtrack? Is your music going to feature, uh, how do, is your music going to feature in, um, um, you know, in um, cultural plays? Is your music going to feature in games? You know, so it, it's all about the audience you're selling to. So artists need to think beyond what just the music yes. and also try to see how they can attract audiences that can also you know help to spread the gospel because i have the day you look at someone like kanye he just signed a 10-year deal with gap yes. right kanye has kanye has consistently built a business and has now translated into building content because now he has a cartoon too with kid cody yes. there's a cartoon going on yes. so now he, the, where did the cartoon come from the character came from his um graduation album the, the teddy bear mm. you know so yeah that, that teddy bear now is now it's an extension of kanye but now it's a standalone image um image of him which means that you can easily relate to it back to kanye so you see that he has income from incomes income from every other angle not just clothing not just um because he has a lifestyle so it's not just clothing it's not just the, the, the music it's not just also the cartoon it's other elements which it's basically an ecosystem. All right, but yeah. if, if, if I just want to ask something about mm -hmm. what you yeah. do, but if, you, if you're talking about those people have the those people have the fan base to like these things, right? Can, yeah. can do cartoons, yeah. can, can make shoes, can make clothes, can do all these things because he's got the fan base yep. that can buy from, from him, right? But if you're having, in Cameroon where artists are basically struggling to get fans it's, right so I, I don't know whether it is their lifestyle or issues but they are struggling to get fans now you, you cannot because i'm sure they are watching you and say oh it's easy to say that it's easy for kanye to do that it's easy for this to do that but mm. they are not they, they, they don't see themselves like people who can actually do you know why because they've not they've not seen themselves as brands you are actually a product you are a product whether you like it or not yeah so you you the things that you have to you have to you have to, be, you have to be an embodiment of your art yes you know because look at rema right now he did he did a song and i, I was looking at i was looking at what he did the song is um, Ginger, right? He, he did, he, did a, um, um, he played with his fans, like, you know what, um, I'm going to go on a random with a, with a random girl. That, that is part of the storytelling to the album Ginger. So you see that you're not just, that's why I say, it's about content. You're, you're, you're a product, you have to treat yourself like a product, yeah. you know? And, and also the thing is, artists also need to, need to, need to realize that it's, it takes time. Kanye did not start the, Kanye is of an ice hotel because it's 10 years of an, more than 10 years of an ice hotel, okay. you know? Different elements to him which build that fan base. When you want to build a fan base, who are you selling to? Yes. What are you selling what to them? Selling? It's about life style about culture and also about how you is that, is, is, you integrate with 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 them too i mean that's why i can create jovi right. man I, I have yeah. to I have to ask longer now um, yeah Longe, there, there is this issue of i mean maman gia's life obviously is, is like the key fo the focal point of this discussion yep. but you have like um lack of government subventions or grants to 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 our musicians or entertainers in general mm. sports entertainment media mm. we don't have government support maman gia was sick for for, I think to the end of our days, like two years straight, right? Mm -hmm. We did not hear anything from the Ministry of Arts and Culture or the Association of Music, uh, maybe the Music Association where she belonged. Mm -hmm. No, so, no support. Like, what is the problem? It, it's not just Babangi here. I think because we're talking about Babangi here now, all the other artists have faced, whom have we named before, mm -hmm. have faced, you know, the same <coughs> kind of. Um, Passing away, ne neglect. They, they are so neglected. <laughs> yeah. Yes, um, I think that we might want to blame the government. Of course, it's assumed in, in Cameroon that everything that is wrong, we start from the government, mm -hmm. but, and it's right. But you see, the musicians have a they have a structure which is managed by a musician. Mm -hmm. he, in fact, the head of of the, of, of, of Sonakam is um, San Fantomas. 
Yes. And Tuma. The so yeah, so he is the head of, of Sonakam. And Sonakam was what came into power three years back, right? Which this they were supposed to, their key responsibility was to collect and distribute um, um, copyright yeah. royalties to artists. Because that has been a difficulty since 2004 for corporations like Cameroon Music Corporation, CMC, um, Sukam, okay. and then this one. They've had problems in paying royalties for artists. Now, so, uh, Sonakam was brought in to make sure that they can recover. Because you have artists, Cameroonian artists, who have millions, in fact, Cameroonian artists have millions in other foreign levels like um, SASEM, uh, like BMG, like as cap in the Amer in America, and so I can be stuck with taking recovering these uh, um, uh, um, royalties for the artists and repartitioning. Yes. The problem, however, is that so I can as we are now, is faced with twenty two lawsuits from artists <laughs> who do not do not but. want so I come to have access to, to the money. To the money. 